Exponent equations, algebra 2 trigonometry regions. To create a common base first, then set exponents equal to each other. Those are the steps that we're going to proceed here. Now, um, the previous video was uh, equations, um, exponents with, you know, sorry, <laughs> equations with exponents. And, and so that's when you're, you had a variable that had an exponent that you were trying to solve for the variable. Uh, so your variable was the base. You had something like, you know, x to the 2 fifths equals, you know, some number. And so your, your variable was the base of the exponent. Here, these are exponent equations. The difference is the variable is the exponent itself. It's, it's not the base, it's the exponent. And so it's a, it's a different type of equation. Uh, the variable could be the base, it could be the exponent, you know, either way. It could be x squared equals something, or it could be 2 to the x equals something, right? I mean, that, that's the difference we're talking about. So to solve um, exponent equations, we're calling these, that's, that's when our variable is an exponent like this, the procedure we're going to use is we're going to create a common base. And so what that means is the base of the left side equals 3, and its exponent is 2x minus 1. The right side is 27. I guess the base would be 27, and its exponent would be 1. I want a common base here. And one thing to remember is that you are always going to make your bases as small as, as they already are. Uh, what I mean by that is, you know, 3, I'm going to leave as 3, but 27, I, I see that 27 is a power of 3. And so you, when you recognize that one of the numbers on one side is a power of the number on the other side, that's going to be your common base. So I want to change 27 to be a base of 3. This way they're both a base of 3. Now this one's 3 to the 2x minus 1. The 27 is a power of 3. It is 3 cubed. And so I'm going to write 27 as 3 cubed. And I can do that because 3 cubed is 27. And so a lot of this is made easier if you just recognize the powers of each other. And so now that you see that they're both a base of 3, a common base. Once you have that common base, you don't need it anymore. Now you're just looking at your exponents. Well, if 3 to the 2x minus 1 equals 3 to the third, then that must mean that 2x minus 1 equals 3. So once you have a common base, you simply set the exponents equal to each other. So my exponent of 2x minus 1 on the right is equal to my exponent of 3 um, well, 2x minus 1 is on the left, and, and 3 is on the right, excuse me. So, common base, you set your exponents equal to each other. Now I solve this very easy question. To, uh, add 1 is, is 4, and divide x equals 2. And what I like about this topic is it, it's very easy to check. You know, almost all math has a way of checking, but some of them are complicated. But, but this check is very simple. Uh, simply rewrite what you had, but replace x with what you found it to be. And so instead of 2x minus 1, I'm going to write 2 times 2 minus 1 and see if that does equal 27. And, and your calculator is going to do this work for you. So that is 3 raised to the... Now you should simplify this here, though. 2 times 2 is is 4, and, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So you end up with 3 to the third equals 27. And maybe you don't need a calculator for that one. Uh, but it checks out just fine. So it's definitely worth it to check here. Let's try a couple more. 2 to the 3x plus 3 equals 8 to the 2x. Now, again, notice that my base is not the same. The base on the left is 2. The base on the right is 8. Can I turn 1 into the other? Yes. I can turn 8 into a 2. 8 is a power of 2. It is a power of 2. And so I'm going to leave the 2 on the left, 2 to the 3x plus 3. And I'm going to change 8 to a base of 2. 8 is the same as 2 to the third. Now, there was already an exponent for 8, 2x. That's still there. And so changing 8 to 2 cubed, well, that 3 exponent is going to be multiplied by the exponent that was already there. And so that's what's going to happen, that when you change your base that has an existing exponent, it's going to be multiplied by the new exponent. So now I have a common base of 2, which I could just ignore, and set my exponents equal to each other. So that would be 3x plus 3 equals the product of my 
new exponent and old exponent is 6x. Subtract 3x on both sides, 3x equals 3, divide, and x equals 1. Let's check it out, make sure that's right. So this is 2 to the 3 times 1 plus 3 equals 8 to the 2 times 1. And this would simplify 3 times 1 is 3, uh, plus 3 is 6, and that equals 8 to the 2 times 1 is 2. And at a quick glance, you might not know if this checks out or not, but again, you're going to use your calculator to do that. So you're going to type in, um, oh, let me get rid of this, is 2 to the 6th. It's okay if you get, you know, 64 is fine, but even if we had a decimal, a crazy large number, it doesn't matter. As long as I get the same thing on the other side, and is 8 squared 64? Yes, of course it is. So it does indeed check out. One more. 4 to the 3x equals 8 to the x plus 1. So my base here is 4, my base here is 8. And this is where you have to be careful, because is 8 a power of 4? No, it is not. See, 4 to the first is 4, but 4 squared is 16. It skips 8. And, and 4 is not a power of 8. I can't turn 1 into the other. So this is a case where you have to change both bases. And you have to think, all right, 4 is a power of what? And 8 is a power of what? They are both powers of 2. 4 is 2 squared. 8 is 2 cubed. And so the more complicated problems here, you have to change one into the other. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking 4 squared is 8. It's not, guys. 4 squared is 16. Uh, so this is a case where you have to change both. Um, so 4 I'm writing as 2 squared times the original exponent 3x. And 8 I'm writing as 2 cubed times the original exponent x plus 1. Squeeze a 1 in there. And then I can ignore these bases of 2. And so I'm going to multiply this. 2 times 3x is 6x. And I'm going to multiply this, which requires some distribution. Don't forget to distribute if you have to. And you get 3x plus 3. And looks like I'm going to end up with 1 again. Subtract 3x, divide x equals 1 again. So, but let me definitely check it. Uh, so that would be 4 to the 3 times 1, which is 3. And 8 to the 1 plus 1 is 2. So that's, is 4 cubed the same as 8 squared? Well, I know 8 squared is 64. Is 4 cubed 64? Maybe you know it, maybe you don't, but it is. And so that does work out to check again. Now, sometimes, as I said, when you're doing these checks, it doesn't come out to be something nice and simple as 64. Like, say, it came out to be some crazy-looking decimal. That's okay as long as it's the same on both ends. So remember, you're just checking that the two sides are equal to each other and so they are. So get a common base. If you have an existing exponent, multiply it by the new exponent, set them equal to each other, solve, check it out. That's it.